Joining us on Plugged In today are a dynamic couple that are no stranger to our regular Plugged In viewers. First introduced them in March on our Kidney Health Month show, and then again, the second part of their journey during Not Doll Week. They're back with us today. We're gonna to be talking about some a great news story. Uh, but first, let me reintroduce them to you. Alexis and Rob Mackay Dunn, welcome to Plugged In. Hello, thank you. It's so great to see you both. Uh, okay, so the last time you were on the show, um, we aired the second part of your journey, and that was, like I said, during Not Doll Week. And National Organ and Tissue Donor Awareness Week is an opportunity to raise awareness about the need for organ donor registration across Canada and the importance of a living organ donation. And at that time, um, you had known, Alexis, that you were going to need a kidney transplant and you're both dealing with all of that swirl and the hope was that perhaps you might be able to receive a preemptive transplant which would be a transplant before having to go on dialysis just around the time not doll was happening you in fact the two of you received the news that you would have to go on dialysis take us back to that what was that like yeah so we we'd all really hoped that i wouldn't have to do dialysis but um we discussed it with our healthcare provider that we would try and keep me off dialysis until it was absolutely medically necessary that I did it. Um, everyone wanted me to be home with my kids, with my newborn, um, but uh, my GFR dropped to about six and it was time. And um, I think the, the fear of, of dialysis was probably greater than you know, act the actual dialysis itself. Um, uh, so I did start dialysis mid-April, and you know, it did actually make me feel a lot better. Um, I got a lot of energy back. Um, the days that I did do dialysis, I was pretty worn out, but then the next day I was like, okay, I got this, I gotta take care of the kids and you know, get on with stuff and be in the garden. Um, and then, you know, it's, it, was, it was difficult. Um, just, it took a lot of my time up. Um, a lot of time away from the family, a lot of early mornings. Um, but, uh, you know, fortunately it was only a couple months and um, it did actually make me a lot healthier in time for my transplant, so. You are a young couple starting a young family. You have a beautiful baby daughter, like four months old maybe at that yeah. time. So quality of life is impacted by your family, Rob. What's going through your mind when you're hearing this news about your wife, the center of your world? It's obviously not where we wanted to end up um, with, uh, you know, the gel that keeps our family together at dialysis from basically 7 a.m. till 1 p.m., um, three days a week. Um, you know, it, we had to call in all the recruits to help us on the home front to make sure that uh, we were covered off from a, a childcare perspective making sure that I was also keeping up appearances at work and making sure that I was getting the job done um, at work. But, uh, you know, we, we, we had to find a rhythm to get through it. Um, we knew it wasn't gonna be forever, or we hoped it wouldn't be for, forever. Um, uh, and, and we just had to bear with it and get through it and be creative as much as possible to make sure that um, it was successful, um, not only for Alexis, but also for uh, making sure that the kids got through it as well. I can only imagine when you heard you're going to go on dialysis that first run that happened i think it was at st paul's yes. you were dialyzing can, can you describe that can you talk a little bit about that that first dialysis run uh, i had certainly had a lot of anxiety associated with it i didn't know really what to expect um, the word dialysis has i think its own connotations that a lot of us don't really know what it is or it sounds it doesn't sound like a, a fun thing to do. Um, so I went to St. Paul's. They had given me the option if I wanted to do um, hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. Um, hemodialysis you can do in the hospital, um, whereas peritoneal, they put a tube in and you can do it at home. Um, but we felt that we had enough going on at home that the kids didn't need to see that. And 
I didn't need my two-year-old pushing buttons and whatever. Um, so we opted for hemodialysis. Um, so day one, they insert the permanent catheter and then we go into St. Paul's uh, hemodialysis unit and you're hooked up to this dialysis machine that, you know, this catheter allows the blood to flow out of you and into the dialysis machine where it dialyzes, which basically there's a filter on the side of the machine that acts as your kidney. And from there, they're able to supplement um, electrolytes, sodium, and whatever your, your formula is. Um, and they also take off fluid from your body that your, your, your kidneys are unable to do. Um, so you always have a goal weight and it takes four hours for that to all filter through. And Rob, you're really the caregiver of the family helping out, um, you know, what's going on? What are you, what's your thought process at this point with everything learning? Well, I think everyone um, is well past frustrated with my Google calendars and the family calendars and who's doing what, when and where, um, because we were really pulling in resources from everywhere, you know, um, whether it was uh, Alexis's parents or my parents or family and friends, um, you know, we, we were pulling in everybody we could to help cover off as many moving parts as we possibly could. So it was kind of a well orchestrated chaos and um, I think we got it mostly right. Wow, definitely. So, Alexis, how long were you on dialysis? I was on dialysis for about two months. Oh, two months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is also interesting and great information. I'd love to keep you around a little bit longer because we want to talk about your journey to find a living donor. And Rob, you were quite adamant about being the first person to be tested. Can you stay with us for a few minutes? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Don't go away. We'll be right back.